Okay, so I just want to show you how you can pull in the photos from um, Google Picasso. There's a great plug-in by Alpine Tile. Um, actually allows you to do it from Instagram and Flickr and a whole heap of others. But I just want to use Export Solutions here as the example. Um, effectively, that's what is pulling through to the site through the WordPress plugin, and that's currently what's on their Google Plus or Picasso Web album. So let me just show you how you can basically do it. Essentially, all you need is a Google Plus account and you need to make sure that the album is set as public. You can see it there, shared publicly. So you would upload your photos to Picasa or Google Plus, make sure they're set as public and obviously you can just give them a title. Then you install the plugin, which is Alpine Photo Tile. Once it's installed, you would go to settings and you'll see it down under settings Alpine Tile, Picasa and Google Plus you click on that every single time you add an album to a post you need to go in here and generate the short codes and you can see here you can try the other plugins which you also use for Flickr, Pinterest, Instagram so it's a pretty cool little interface basically what you need to do is go to short code generator and this is what you would do when you do a new post and you retrieve photos from user's public album, yes. Now the Picasa Google user ID is up here. You can see that is your user ID. So every time you open another album, it still has that as your ID. And then you can see albums, and then you can see the unique ID of your photos. So the next question is, what's your user album ID? Which will be the user album ID is this one here. Then we use the light box for pop-up and there's a couple of other options. You can link to the actual image or a URL, but we're gonna use a light box because we want people to see it as a gallery. The style setting, we've selected it as a wall. So there's a whole wall of photos. So it's actually mirrors almost what's on the Google Plus page. Um, you can see here. And um, photos per row, we've put in four. Photo size we've put as 220. It won't actually change too much the actual size of the image, but it changes the resolution of the image. And the higher the resolution you select, so if we go 320, which might be nice, the longer the load time when it arrives on the site. Um, and obviously we've put four. Now we could go lower resolution and put more photos per row if we wanted to. Um, the number of photos, you'd put um, just how many photos there are. So, you know, if there's 50 in an album, put 50. If you want to do 100, you know, put 100. So, I, by default, I mean, it's never going to pull more than 75. And there's a few other features down there. Photo alignment's going to be left, and yes, we want it 100%. And then, you just click Generate Short Code, and that'll spit out a little piece of code at the top. You copy that code, Control-C. You go into your post. You could just be in visual mode. You don't need to be in text mode. And you literally paste it in. So you can see here, it's basically using the source code to call the plugin. The user album ID was there. The user album is there. So that's the ID and that's the exact album. We're using fancy box. We're making it a wall. There's four in a row. The size is 320 and we're doing 75. I'll hit update and I'll show you what happens when the page loads. And there we go there. Now if we click on the image, you get a little pop-up box and that allows you to flick through your different images. And you can obviously close it at the top. So that's a great way of, um, of using, or just check if there's anything else under plugin settings. There'll just be some short code titles and things like that that you probably don't need to worry too much about. Highlighting code, don't worry about any of the loading. Yes, we definitely want light box. Um, I've, align photos to the left and that's basically it so yeah you don't need to worry too much about any of those details but every time you do a new post you go in upload your photos to google picasa pull them in as per the description and away you go so hopefully that is helpful